Welcome. This is Barry Jones from Angelic Wisdom, and we're here for our monthly angel scope for the sign of Leo for August 2022. So before we begin, I'd like to just welcome everyone who is uh, returning to this monthly series and to also welcome anyone who might be new to our um, channel. And so um, as we begin, I just want to first of all uh, remind you or uh, to be aware that I've already posted um, as of Monday, July 25th, the general monthly reading, uh, energy reading for August 2022. So if you haven't had an opportunity to see that, please even pause this video and go watch it or make sure not to forget and watch it afterwards because it's some really important um, information there for you. So also, if you haven't um, subscribed and you're new, please do that right now um, before this video is over. Subscribe, select the all notification bell, um, like, leave comments. Um, if you already still remember, check it, make sure it's still current, uh, subscriber rather. And also just keep in mind, I do really enjoy reading your comments and seeing how you are inspired or how it um, just sort of um, impacts you. So although I don't get to respond to everyone, but I do appreciate them immensely. The um, last bit of information is if you're thinking about any time during this reading or after this reading, um, having an angel reading with me and you really feel that you're called to do so in your heart, then you can connect with me at theangelschool.com slash services. Um, this is my current website. There will be a new one um, coming in the near future, the uh, which will be angelicwisdom.org, just in case you're watching this in that um, future when it's up and running. And you would just select, since this is my 10th anniversary year on YouTube, you would select the first time promotional reading offer. Now this reading offer is my discounted um, offer for my hourly reading, and it's available to everyone, former, new and new clients unlimited for this year so you can have as many reasons you as you would wish um, for the hourly rate of this promotional offer um, and the last bit and there's something I forgot to mention so I, I don't know if I said it but I'm gonna put a link um, for the the uh, general reading uh, for the month of August as well in the description area below and so let's take a look now. Um, the cards that we have here from the Archangel Oracle um, it will tell us which Archangel we're working with this month. And then the cards on the left and the right are from your guardian angels. And they are from one from the major arcana and the other from the minor arcana. So the major arcana lesson tells you the general theme um, the big, bigger picture, the big lessons that are influencing or energies that are influencing you in this month. The minor arcana lesson will highlight how that's been um, revealed or displayed in your day-to-day -day awareness and then ways or advice about how to work with that energy to optimize your month. So let's take a deep breath together. And just really tune in to your heart space. And just allow yourself to feel grounded. So I feel like I'm seeing this very, um, I feel like I'm seeing like an empress chair, but um, modern, you know, very like leather, um, very, you know, luxurious, very comfortable, but um, impressive, right? Um, it even felt like the color of this carnelian crystal, um, the, the leather seating. So it, it gives you this energy of um, 
being in a, a creative place, um, being connected to the earth, being really grounded. So Leo, this is giving a sense that, you know, you're in charge, you know, of everything that's unfolding in your life and that you're somehow able to really capitalize in this month on your creative gifts and abilities. Um, I don't know if it's about, you know, I feel like everybody's gonna be coming to you. I feel like it's not about that you might, you know, be in a leadership role, but that you're gonna be someone that everybody is looking to in this month for either um, the trends to follow or um, or they're just looking to you for what you might be producing as a cue for them, for their own lives, you know, a cue for them to something that they should be doing in their lives. So in some way, you're going to be um, a role model for others. And so you can benefit from this in a sincere way, okay? Um, they're showing me this tree and someone standing in front of it with a book open and they're reading from the book. And it feels like I'm getting a sense about um, that this might be a great time for you, Leo, to share your ideas, you know, your trades of the tool, your tools of the trade, um, to your hot tips on, um, you know, how you um, do what you do, right? So that others might be able to benefit from this and you will be able to benefit from it as well because it they're not asking you to do it, you know, they want you to be compensated. Um, so, the thing is, you know, what you will be compensated, you'll um, be able to benefit from this in, in, as well. So it's an, an exchange. Um, and also it will, I just saw the word network. So it will sort of expand your network of clients um, or whatever it is that you need in terms of additional support, resources, etc or ideas. And you know, it's like when I do this, I <laughs> I learn so much, right? And so it's that same um, sense that I get here, that you'll get more, you'll expand, you'll grow, um, your potential will, will flourish through this process. All right, let's take a look at the Archangel that you'll be working with. Okay, and this is really interesting because it's Archangel uh, Samayo. And the card says, choose harmonious responses. Act with wisdom and grace. Now, when Archangel Samayo has come up for me, um, he helps with eradicating the ego. Okay, so... And he helps with... Um, issues that where your ego has really been preventing you from really tapping in to your true source, your higher self, and all of those gifts and the wisdom that you have. So, the the you know be I'm just gonna say brace yourself <laughs> um, because as you see, one of the things I always love about this card is the bowl he holds. Now he has his swords there, like sort of, sort of like a samurai sword, and this bowl and its imperfections, you know, where it looks like it's been cracked, but it's been repaired. Okay. And it's been repaired, and although it's it's um technically damaged, but now it has become um somewhat of a of a treasure. And so it gives us something to think about. Um, you know, a lot of times we feel like we really can't, um, because we feel broken, that we don't really recognize um, the treasure 
that we've become, right? We don't recognize the all the new ways that we um, have formed new appreciations for life that has transformed the way we we see um, ourselves and others and uh, and our and our careers and, and and the things that we we enjoy doing in life. So there's something to learn from. I feel like there's something that you're going to learn from this form of giving back. Um, let's just take a look and see what the major kind of lesson. So there's something here that you have to release. Okay, there's a transformation. This is the death card, and this this is a this is about endings, right? This is about, um, and also I love this keyword freedom. So. It's one of the things we miss about death, um, and in, in the, the concept of death, um, in terms of its literal and metaphorically, that when it when the time comes for us to release something, we are freeing ourselves up. We're freeing up our energy to embrace more of what we are. We're not losing; we're gaining. And so, there's something that. In letting go of something, you stand to gain so much more. So I, Leo, I would focus on the thing, be aware of what is it that you, you know, I remember seeing this cross um, around a woman's neck. So what is it that you're really attached to? That you fear losing the most? Because whatever that is, it's limiting you. Because that you feel like you're about to lose something because you sense this energy and the impact. But it's not about the loss. That's not where this process ends. It's That is where it begins. And what is going to begin is what you're going to be able to um, accrue for yourself. What you're going to gain and potential and, and gifts. This is going to be a powerful lesson for you. And it's going to open doors for you in new and incredible ways. And the way that this might be playing out for you, okay, you might be feeling like you're walking on the fence a little bit, like you're walking on eggshells and you're you're really trying to find this balance. So this this situation whether it's this teaching thing or whatever it is, it 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 puts you a little bit um, out of your comfort zone, right? Um, it it feels like there's it feels like you'd be risking everything and and taking risks that you you don't know if you're prepared for those risks or not. But here's the thing, and just looking at this one keyword. To you know, uh, to prioritize your um, by focusing on what you want to accomplish. So, out of everything that's sort of coming at you and all the the, the risks that keep you know coming into your mind, like oh my god, if I do this, I'm gonna this is gonna be risk. This, but think about your priority. Think about how you want to start, a, how you want to launch yourself. Because this ending is happening for a purpose. But it's also setting the stage for you to launch yourself, your life in a whole new miraculous way. And you may not be able to do anything about the risks or the loss that you might incur but you can do something about what you hope to gain, or you can um, begin to set the stage for what it is that you want to achieve. All right, so I'm seeing the angel number 228. Here it is. I'm gonna turn right past it. <laughs> All right. So here's the message. It says, trust that new opportunities are answers to your prayers. Walk through the doors that are opening for you 
and accept offers of help. That's big. I don't even think I could say any more. That is really what they're trying to do. Their opportunities are going to be opening up for you. But these opportunities are coming um, at an expense to your ego's attachments to you, to things being a certain way. And you're going to have to really let go of the things just being a certain way. It might be that that's what you are afraid to lose. You're afraid to lose control, right? And so you're working hard to try to balance everything instead of just letting yourself lose control, letting it be wild, letting, letting your nature, you know, because I just did a whole write-in on this card that's going to come out on Thursday, um, the 28th of July. So if you get a, a chance to read that, uh, be beneficial. Sorry about that. Gosh, the delivery person, I don't know if you heard the bell, but they just keep pushing the bell. Um, so, and what I was t um, just writing about, and, and you should read it um, when you get a chance, um, the daily card message uh, for that day. And one, one of the interesting points, if I can remember it now, um, that was brought out in this, it's about, you know, like we're trying to control everything and, um, and you're trying to do the balancing. But the universe, uses a Lenin sketch here, and the universe does the balancing for you. It automatically, the laws of balance, the spiritual laws of balance will always, um, you know, um, give the appropriate response to whatever it is that you desire and whatever action, whatever choices you make. So this is about focusing on the choices that are in front of you. Because the universe is presenting you with options. But if you're too stuck to your way, then you won't see those options. And you won't see the potential of new opportunities that will free you up and free up. You know, you're trying to manage all this stuff. But this opportunity is going to free up your finances, free up your resources, free up your energy and your time. So that you have more to, to rely on. So don't try to do the balancing. Focus on the choice that's important here and be open to all the ideas and input that's coming in at this time as it's helping you to, it's giving you the availability of opportunities and options so that you can choose how you want to grow and evolve as you move into the three. When the three pentacles, you'll get the support There'll be this team, you know, you have the cooperation of the universal team and your um, and, and, and your associates and, 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 and you know, people you're networking. You'll have this network of uh, to draw from to help you to on that path. So that will come automatically. But here it's about making that choice and, 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 and not trying to control the balance, but focusing on what is what resonates with you in this moment and trusting that it will, when when you go, when you make that decision, the support will flow into your, your um, life. It's not the other way around. You're not always the one doing everything. You make decisions, you take, you act on those decisions, and then the universe pours in with all the support that you need. All right. So I send you lots of love, Leo, and angel blessings, and have a beautiful, beautiful month. God bless, and happy birthday to you.